to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson and I am the Duchess of Suds here on this channel. And today we are making March's Royal Vault Soap. Every month I typically pull a design from the vault, we call it, that I have previously made and I sort of update it, maybe add a few little changes here and there. And that gives people the opportunity to purchase again something maybe they loved in the past but didn't get their hands on. I get a lot of requests for repeat soaps, soaps that sell out really quick and people are like, are you ever going to make this again? And this is our solution to that problem. The Bonnie Highlands has been really, really, really successful in the past. The very first time that I put it in the Fairy Topia collection that was part of the Secret Soap series, people like went nuts. That was like one of the first times ever that I sold out very, very quickly of a bar. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I have two, one for royalty soaps and one for personal stuff. And by the way, my brother Kenny also has one and I will link all three down below. This soap will be available to purchase on April 1st, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time at royaltysoaps.com. Be sure to set your alarms. And without further ado, let's make some soap. Ooh, today is gonna be a chatty video. I can just feel it in my bones. The recipe I'm using for soap making today can be found in the description box below, and this handy oil blend I have here can be purchased from NurtureSoap.com. Now in this container, I have my lye water solution mixed with my oils. A lot of people have told me recently that they would make cold processed soap if it wasn't for the lye, that the lye is what is scaring them and keeping away from the whole process. But if you are using proper safety measures and you have your gloves and your goggles on and you're being careful, there's really not that much to be afraid of. I've got a whole video coming soon on lie safety. It will be in the Royal Academy videos. I promise it really is coming soon. So let's mix this up on high until just past emulsion. By the way, I have been saying emulsion wrong for years. I'm honestly so embarrassed. I never thought I would address it because I was like, that is just so wrong. It's emulsion, not emulsification. They're two entirely different things and I just, oh, I feel so bad. Anyway, moving on, we're gonna get this to emulsion. This soap is gonna be five colors. That's right, five. And I'm gonna have four accents, but I'm not actually gonna have that much of each color. The first color we're adding is True Yellow from TKB Trading. The second one is Green Vibrance from Nurture Soap. The third is Cosmic Carolyn from TKB Trading. And the fourth is Blue Tide from Mad Micahs. The big container is going to be white. And by the way, Wholesale Supplies Plus has the best titanium dioxide I have found. Many people carry it. Theirs is the best. And now let's blend everything up and see what those colors look like. These colors look Perfect, so it's time to add the fragrance oil. I am revealing the Bonnie Highlands fragrance oil today, you guys. It is Bartlett Pear from Peak Fragrances. Now, let me tell you something. Peak has actually gone out of business. Whenever we were ordering all of the fragrance oils for this month's soap making, Simeon came to me and was like, Katie, I got some bad news. Peak has gone out of business, which was devastating to me because Peak has been around literally ever since I started making soap, but they have shut down. But there is light at the end of the tunnel, you guys. Fragrance Buddy, which I personally think is one of the most underrated fragrance oil supplies suppliers out there has actually duplicated almost all of Peak's fragrances. So anything you used to buy from them, you can now buy from Fragrance Buddy. I actually ended up liking the Fragrance Buddy version of this better. I've purchased from them quite a lot in the past. Some of the different fragrances that I've used for candles, some of the fragrances that we use in our standard line of diamond soaps are from Fragrance Buddy. They have really, really good prices and really 
low shipping. I don't talk about them or rave about them enough. Wow, that glove just took a beating. <laughs> Time for another one. I'm gonna mix the fragrance oil into these colors as I begin to pour them into the batches because something I do remember about this fragrance oil from years ago when I made this soap is that it accelerates a little bit. The first color going in is pink and then green and then yellow and then blue. So I am gonna mix up the pink and the white of course, but everybody else is going to wait. The first layers are blended, so let's start pouring into our molds. I am gonna speed this part up quite a bit because, well, quite frankly, I have to move very, very quickly and I can't talk while I'm doing it. So now let's mix up our soap frosting. I am using the Royalty Soaps piping set available at NurtureSoap.com with the tip I used for the original bars, which is the Atiko 172. And for this soap, I normally put four across. This tip is a little smaller than what I normally use and it's actually a really good one for beginners because whether or not your piping is a little bit runny or a little bit thick, it's going to make a beautiful design either way. Another fun fact, I was going back and looking at the original video for this soap so many years ago, my gosh, I was a baby. And I said in the video that this is actually one of the ones where I was not feeling very inspired and so my mom actually designed this apparently. I knew I wanted to surprise her with a soap that I had made just for her using a fragrance she really liked, and using a palette and molds that were her favorite and whatever, but I think I was just out of ideas and so she actually designed this one. And when I told her that this was gonna be my throwback design for this month, she absolutely squealed with delight. She has not had one of these bars in such a long time, and it is still her favorite to this day, apparently, which makes me feel awesome. using Sparkle Me Aqua. This is from Mad Micah's. It is one of the fairy dusters. You guys know I have been absolutely loving these recently and even though it wasn't on the original design, I know my mom is going to love it. The Sparkle Me Aqua is completely covering all of the frosting now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of large hollow glitter because this is another one of my mom's new favorites. I didn't have this available to me when I first made the soap, so we're just upgrading it. And now it's time to add the soap roses. So these are yellow, and then they have been dusted in red. And there will be three on here per bar. This is the exact same mold and the exact same colors I used on the original. Get these last little rose leaves on. And all right, that's it for the Bonnie Highland soap. I will give this a quick spritz with rubbing alcohol and let me show you guys a close up. Pay no attention to that icky looking green. We all know it will be beautiful tomorrow. Also, 
hip hip hooray for that fairy dusting it looks so good and seeing this all put together it's making me almost a little bit emotional i better just go to bed before i like cry or something <laughs> We will be back in 18 to 24 hours to chop up these bars, take a look at the inside, and remember the early days of royalty soaps. After this quick commercial break. And I'm back the next day, not so late at night. A little less sentimental, a little less crazy. All right, press down gently. I'm so excited. I'm not normally this excited, but it's just been so long since I made this. So let's pull out one from the middle. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. It looks like it has a little smiley. That is so funny. So why this happened is because the bottom part started setting up too fast so the hanger couldn't actually push all the way down. So it left the pink relatively untouched and now it just looks like a cool swirl with a smile. <laughs> this one on the end, however, was still a little bit loosey-goosey. So we, we got all the way down there for that one. Honestly, this is a lot cleaner and a lot more defined than the first time that I made it. I really, really dig the colors. They're just bright enough to be eye-catching, but not so bright that it's distracting from the whole thing. So, Tub Tub, you got a question of the day? I sure do. Well, let's hear it. Would you rather be 15 minutes late to everything you go to or one hour early. I don't know if I have like an hour to spare every single time I go somewhere. Why you gotta make me so uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking 15 minutes late. I can't spare an hour every time I have to go out somewhere. That's ridiculous. Yeah, maybe 15 minutes is not a big enough, uh, not a big enough hit. If you said 30, that would really make me have to yeah, reconsider. Okay. Well, let's do it again. No, no, you can't change it. You already said 15. Yeah, one hour early or half an hour late. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I can't decide. I'll let them decide. <laughs> If you want to vote on the question of the day, click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And yes, Caleb, you are forced to answer your own question of the day. Which one would you pick? Half an hour late. I don't care. They can deal with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the difference between a two and what are you? A six? A two and a six on the Enneagram oh, test? No, do not bring that up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed. I think this is going to be the one that I pull from the collection to use in my shower. Well, actually, I don't know because the one that you guys are going to see next Saturday is also really flippin' fantastic. Maybe I'll just keep one of each. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is going out and enjoying some sunshine with your friends or your spouse or your partner or your people, or maybe taking some time for you and exercising pumping some iron. You know, whatever makes you feel good. And I will see you all soon. So until next time, have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Meow.